Good morning, this is DCR, TroyCommunityRadio.com. Time now for the Main Street Report, and with me I have Stephanie Baker. So, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. How about yourself? Uh, not bad. Boy, uh, what a difference a day or two makes in the weather. Or a week. I mean, yeah. Or a week. What, 70 degrees? Yeah, last weekend. And here we are back in the 30s. Freezing snowy. Again. Yeah. Hello, winter. It's Hello, back. winter. Yeah, you just had your paint the town red event last night. Yeah. You know, for as cold as it was, I was pretty pleased with the turnout. I think it was a fun event, and we'll definitely do it again. Wonderful. Yeah. Cheese, chocolate. Yeah, and there's a lot of savings. Great specials downtown. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a lot of people out in red and getting drink specials and food specials at the restaurants and. Who could ask for more? I know. That's oh, well, maybe a little bit warmer, warmer. temperatures. That's but okay. we've got that coming in the future with uh, spring on its way. You've got more things. You've got things planned every month this year. That was our goal this year, is to get something on the books for every month of the year, trying to get you to come downtown and enjoy what our beautiful city has to offer. So this month coming up, well, I guess next month, in March is <laughs> not too like, far away i know gosh i was thinking gosh where are we on the calendar um march 25th it's a friday night i believe it's actually good friday we will have a fashion show that will be at the troy rec wonderful and I know you and Lori are going to take part in that and MC the event and david's going to be involved i thought it was modeling too. well you can video or you can, <laughs> you can video yourself um you can model i know you've been practicing i got the walk down you do you can play some right, Ted Fred. We'll play that up there at the rack. <laughs> but a nice turnout for that. You've got uh, uh, the shops downtown Troy are going to be putting out their fashion. Yes, we have several of the downtown boutiques that are going to participate. Uh, I know Blue Bow Boutique is in on it, as well as Stafford's Uniquely Sports, which they've got some really cool stuff if you haven't been in there lately. Um, I know they're... Their spring fashion is probably more along the lines of the baseball well, right now. But, uh, <laughs> We're getting close. Let's think spring. We are thinking spring. Um, Arc and Echo, Elizabeth Marie Fashions, Samos Reme, Pachamama Market, and I think that in David Fair in the Square. And our good friend over up in my building, actually, in the 405, Lynn Barnes. Yes. I don't know if you know what Lynn does, but Lynn is a jack of all trades, does sewing classes. She's just awesome. She was the one that was Mary Todd Lincoln at the Lincoln Funeral Train, and she put together her outfit that day. So she's going to showcase one of her designs and kind of tease you with a fashion show that she's doing. So it should Wonderful. be a really cool event. I'm excited to see what everybody has to offer. All right. So we look forward to that coming up uh, April. That's in March. Oh, And then uh, in April, April <laughs> we're going to have the Downtown Troy Walking History Tours. Okay. So this is kind of... A teaser off of everybody loves the second story secrets so we're looking at it kind of from a different perspective this time so the groups will start out at the Troy History Library and leave from there I believe we're gonna have three tours per hour um, so a total of nine tours that evening each tour will go to five different businesses and kind of see what they were originally so for example the building that you're in here is I believe a horrors hardware store is maybe what it was originally built for. I'm not even Horrors sure. on the square. Yeah. So we want to see what it was throughout the years. So that's what your tour guides will be telling you is kind of giving you the story of each of the businesses throughout the years up to what it is today. So we're going to try and get some appetizers and make it a, a fun little night out. I want to tease ahead to when it's even warmer, and that's when you have the picnics on Prouty. I know. In May. Those would be great. And that's going to have the uh, junior high band, the high school band. Uh, always a good time to come out and have your lunch on the square and listen to some good music. And Matthew that's Matthew the Tosh that's like the awesome whole place. month of May. That is. And, and then it ends with a Troy Streets Alive, the official Troy Streets Alive. Uh, dancing in the streets. Dancing in the streets. And Even you know, Troy crazy. Civic. Yeah, Troy Civic Band is going to be playing at the end of the month, too. That'll be fun. That'll be a fun month. I just sent out the invites to our artists and musicians for paint, or for paint, sound right, for, um, <laughs> it's on my brain. Um, dancing in the streets. So that Troy Streets Alive, we're already gearing up and trying to get entertainment artists, musicians booked in. packed around the square. So Wonderful. We're looking forward to the warm weather. It's well, coming. You, you've been busy over at Main Street. I have been. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying to get it so you're, uh, you're not bored when you come downtown Troy. There's always something new to see and do. 
hats off to you. I try. Although strap it on tight when you put it back on because it's been a little <laughs> windy out there too. <laughs> put your toboggan back on. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Thank you. This has been the Main Street Report. I'm Clint Myers on 1071 WTJN for David Denoyer on TCTV.